All right, Dave, I hope you're hungry and like cornbread. All this month, Chef Kevin Belton is in the kitchen sharing some of his favorite recipes and uh, memories that go along with them. This morning, he is doing his, is this your mother's or your grandmother's oyster recipe? This was mom's. This was your mom's recipe. And well, we, we saw some pictures of your mom. Your mom was a beautiful woman. Yeah, you know, and the thing is, you know, some people call it stuffing, some people call it dressing. She always call it dressing, I guess, because it was made with cornbread. Well, because you, 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 can, you, can put the, you can stuff the dressing in the turkey, or you can dress the turkey with true. stuffing. This is true. But I made cornbread a little sweet. Yeah, and I think, all, I think all dressing or stuffing should be cornbread. Yeah, me too. That's a personal thing. So I've taken butter, onion, sour, green pepper, okay. and garlic. Sauteed that down to where it is pretty much just so yeah. tender and soft. Smells wonderful. But and the that, trick that's all is, just the juices from the veggies. Yeah, yeah. And the trick is, Eric, I over-seasoned it. Okay. I used some of my Creole seasoning, some thyme. Now, into this, let's put in some fresh parsley. See, parsley doesn't want to, you don't want to cook parsley, you want it fresh. Okay. And now, the reason why you want this over-seasoned is because when we put our cornbread in here, this cornbread is gonna kind of not and now, will you it's bake that again, season. or is it? Is it We're going to bake this again. Okay. Because I have the oysters sitting right there. Well, the oysters right are there. raw, yeah. Now, the oysters are raw. Oysters don't take a long time to cook. No. You know? And they will cook, cook that in, in the, the oven. oven. on the stove? We're going to put this in the oven. Okay. Now, you know what I might do this morning? Tell me. Since I'm making it in this pan, I may just put my cast iron pan instead of... Normally, I do a buttered casserole dish to put it in. But you could just stick that in the oven since it's yeah, cast iron. Yeah, I could just stick this in the oven. Yeah, it is cast iron. Hey, that might work. And that we might, might make be it changing even better. Up. So, a little chicken stock. Okay. We're going to use some of the moisture from, from the, the oysters. oysters. Yeah. Okay? And that's the whole trick. This should be really nice and moist. Now, will you use all this cornbread in there? I may not. some to the side? No, because I know you need something to take home. That's true. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> been munching on the cornbread. And you're going to put this recipe for your cornbread and the stuffing on there, too, right? Yes. I mean, you can make, you can use your favorite cornbread recipe. Now, gang, personally, I like it a little sweet. Just a little bit sweet because you have all the savory from the onion, sour, green pepper, and the seasoning in there. That's why I like a little sweet cornbread. But make your favorite cornbread recipe that you like. And now when do you add the, the uh, oysters in? Oh, we're going to put the oysters in now. Okay. And so you'll spoon them with some of the liquor. Well, with all the liquor. With all the liquor. Because this adds some of the moisture. Okay. And you know, oysters don't take long to cook. And I'm and doing this off the fire. how long will that go fire. in the oven? This will go in the oven for 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. At what temperature? 350. Okay. All right. So this will be ready to go. And this will be, the oysters will be nice and plump. They won't be, you don't want to overcook them because okay. you don't want them to dry out and get little bitty balls, okay? Well, we'll get that in the oven so we can start eating. Uh, if you'd like to get uh, Chef Kevin's recipe, you can go to our website, wwltv.com, and click on the morning show page. It'll all be there for you.